Fratty Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 20th Alice nella Città and with Charlotte Wells was here to present After Sun. The film is also a coming of age and you know they, they tell you that coming of age means it's the, the, the moment in life where you also start see your parents as human beings, you know, yeah. uh, and not only as the, the superheroes that we thought. But in the film, I found that there was another moment, I don't want to spoil too much, but I think that uh, Sophie seems to rethink about her father in a particular moment in her life. Uh, so uh, I was wondering, and ask you, do you think that there are, you know, specific moments in which we, we are ready to think about our parents and to see them as human beings, not only, you know, during when we come of age, but also? I think that's a tricky question. I think you start to see your parents as people when they begin to disappoint you in some way, especially as a child. It kind of opens your eyes to their in infallibility, even in very, very slight ways, you know, ways you feel as a child, like somehow overlooked in a moment or, or a detail. And I think that starts to open you up to them being something else. But I think even as an adult, you're, it's hard to see your parents out, outside of that role. And you, you have a growing awareness of it as you get older and, and you take on more responsibility as an adult. And obviously everybody has different relationships to, to their parents, but I think it is impossible in some way to, to know them, truly know them outside of outside of them being your parent. And that is ultimately what the film is, is about, is about the unknowability of, of Callum. Yeah, but because in the film, you, you managed to, to, shows, uh, to show us also Sophie and Callum when they're alone. So when they're experiencing something that we don't know about, but still, you know, uh, not as a daughter and father, but as, human beings and I was wondering do you think that we need to know everything about another person especially our parents or as in the film we can eventually make peace with the fact that we, we won't know everything I think we can I think we can I think that is true of ourselves or I feel that that is true about me there is something solitary to existence there is always going to be so much that is not shared in a certain way even if you are very open and and I think that that is something that you can accept about your parents because like memory I think feeling is what cuts through you know I think it is like the remembrance the experience in the present or past of, of what the relationship means and, and the, uh, the feeling that that creates and, and what you carry forward from that relationship into other relationships in, in your life. Why did you uh, choose this story for your debut film? Why, and since you said it yourself, it has something uh, autobiographical, at least in at the beginning, why did you, did you think it was the, the right project to start you know, directing a, a feature film? I didn't. There are lots of ways <laughs> in which it, it was far too ambitious for a first-time feature. It was set in, a, in another country, in a place I did not speak the language. Uh, it featured two hotels. It featured a lot of background. It was quite a challenging production for a first film. And as a person with a producing background, you'd think I would know better. But I try not to edit when I write. I try to let a story take me, and I think that's what happened. I, I just became so invested in this being being the story. I don't I don't write more than one thing at once. I'm very focused when when I work. I allow myself to be consumed by a single thing. And at a certain point, this this became it. I think it. it could never be anything else and I think part of that is needing in some private way to to spend time reflecting on this time to work through 
um, feelings and emotions surrounding surrounding my father, again, without giving too much away about the film. Uh, I think I needed to make this film. I, I see film as expression. I'm not making films with, um, with the other side in mind, not at the point of creation. I'm not thinking about exhibition. I'm not thinking about audience. I'm, I'm thinking about how to express something in this medium this medium which I feel allows me to express myself better than I can in any other. Well, I was saying, you travel a lot with this film, now you're here, and I was wondering, is that something that people mm, felt and told you about the film that you, uh, that, that you were particularly hit by, that something that said, okay, I didn't think I could do that, and then the film. The most challenging part of writing and shooting and editing was always Callum mm -hmm. and was walking the line between not making him too knowable and, and preserving that mystery of him in some way, but also making clear that he is struggling seriously struggling privately and I think I have heard from some people after screenings who have opened up about their own struggles with mental health and experiences with depression and they have spoken about it in such an intimate and personal way and connected so strongly with the film in ways I really never expected and that happened the moment after the premiere and it happened um, more recently and from people who don't necessarily watch films like this, you know, and I think that that really means a great deal um, that, that I think uh, this film feels like it represents something in a way that they haven't seen before and that is meaningful to them. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. For talking to me uh, on Fred. Thank you. And we've been talking to Charlotte Wells, director of After Sun Screening at the 20th, Alice in La Città, and on Mubi. And this is Chiara Nicoletti for Fred, the Festival Insider.